EA Games. Challenge everything. prison, Azkaban. No one's ever broken out before. Twelve years ago, Black murdered 13 people with a single curse. Well, at least we'll be safe at Hogwarts. What's wrong, Harry? Wrong? I overheard your dad talking about Sirius Black last night. The Ministry of Magic thinks he's after me. Black's escaped to come after you? Oh, Harry, you'll have to be really, really careful. Don't go looking for trouble. I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble usually finds me. But they'll catch him, won't they? I mean, they've got all the muggles looking out for him too. Scabbers, come back! Can't you keep that monster under control? Calm down, Ron. You don't want to wake Professor Lupin. <laughs> don't worry, Ron. We'll help you find Scabbers. Anywhere. Harry, shouldn't you be in hiding or something? Sirius Black escaped, you know. He's on the loose. Crookshanks doesn't understand that it's Oi, wrong to Goyle. chase scabbers. Look who's here. Draco's looking for you, Potter. I think he's got you a nice surprise. Run down the corridor. There he goes! You can cast Alahamora to open that door, Harry. Hold down the left mouse button to activate your wand. Keep holding while you move the mouse to aim your wand. <laughs> That's it! Alahamora! Let go of the mouse button and you'll cast a spell. There he is! We can climb over this luggage, Harry. We just need to walk up to it and we'll be able to start climbing. Oof. We'll have to jump up to climb over those crates. Right then, you lead the way. Walk forward towards the crates and click the right mouse button to jump. While you press the right mouse button, hmm. I suppose we'll have to push this thing out of the way. Or one of us could cast a pulso. The pulso! Nice a one, Lot's right. chest. Right. There's now usually where's something that inside these. Cast Alahamora to open it. That wall. Oh, really, Ron? You might think about training your rat. Wow! It's a magically locked cabinet. We need to cast at the same time to open it. All three of us. I'll start, and you two join in. Hello! Ah! Um, what's that thing? It's a gargoyle, of course. Cast Lumos at it, Rod, and a secret area will light it up. Lumos! Watch out! Hey, bugs! Does everyone remember how to cast a pulsar? Depulsa! 
place you could find a friend. Actually, I do have a rather interesting friend I'd like to meet. Everyone playing nicely now. Oh no. What's that monstrous looking book? Actually, I believe it's a copy of the Monster Book of Monsters. Cast the pages. We'll knock them out of the air, Harry. You finish the book. Watch out. Rick the Zebra. Well done! Is it okay to scream now? Ron, you really do need to work on the accuracy of your spell casting. A wizard card. I love collecting these. If we search around enough at Hogwarts, we could find all 80 collector's cards. We can look inside the Folio Universitas after picking up a collector's card. Press the escape key Scabbles. and click on the picture of the card at the top of the screen. You've given us a lot of trouble, you useless rat. Come on, let's get back to our compartment before we're missed. Serious black under our cloaks. Go! Harry! Are you all right? Yeah. What happened? What was that thing? A Dementor. One of the Dementors of Azkaban. We better head back. We'll be at Hogwarts in a few minutes. Are you sure you're all right, Harry? Fine. I'm fine. Harry, Ron, and Hermione were delighted to be back at Hogwarts. Harry's encounter with the Dementor had caused him no serious harm. 
other than a growing feeling of dread. The three friends hurried to their first class of the term, anxious to resume their lessons. I'm Professor Lupin, your new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Our first lesson involves the spell Carpe Retractor. Ron Weasley, would you please join me? Um, me? You sure? Uh, Hermione needs loads better at spells. You'll do fine, Ron. Just step through this door to begin. Welcome to the Carpe Retractum Challenge, Ron. There are ten challenge shields scattered throughout the challenge. Some are well hidden. Find all ten shields to earn a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. If you don't find all the shields your first time through, you can always come back. Complete the challenge by collecting the final shield. Let's get started. Carpe Retractum has two primary uses. To pull yourself towards something, or to pull something towards you. See if you can find a statue to cast the spell at. Then, watch what happens. Carpe Retractor! Ugh! Carpe Retractor! Excellent. You can also use Carpe Retractor to pull certain leaves. See if you can find one I think one I remember on how to use these. Now, leap on first. Cast Spongify on the tile to make it bouncy. Carpe Retractum can also be used to pull things towards you. See if you can find something to cast at. Then climb up onto it. Carpe Retractum! You can jump over pits like this one, Ron. Hold down the forward arrow key to run towards it. When you get to the edge, continue holding the arrow key and press the right mouse button to jump. Carpe Retractum can also be used on certain ropes. Now give it a go. Carpe doesn't look very friendly. That is an imp, Ron. Beware. It might throw exploding wizard crackers. Spells may not be effective in this situation. Try not to let the wizard crackers touch you while they're in the air. When they land, you can pick them up. But be careful. If you're not quick enough, the crackers will explode. Go ahead, Ron. See if you can pick up a wizard cracker and throw it back at the imp. Ah! Perfect, Ron. 
Now let's put your training to the test. To the test? Hello? I think it is. Loads more than beans in Fred and George's shop. Hello. this. Shoot fire out of its, um, well, out of its backside. Cast Rick to Sempra to knock it over. Then cast again as needed to knock the fire grab into the trap. Rick to Sempra! Please tell me that's the way out! Rick to Sempra! Rick to Sempra! Rick to Sempra! Rick to Sempra! Come on, you 
Unfortunately, you didn't find all of the challenge shields. You'll need all ten to unlock the beam bonus room. So, come back anytime you want to give the challenge another go. That was fantastic! Um, where are we? These doors will let us back into any spell challenge we've completed. You can have another go at the Carpeer Attractive Challenge if you like, Ron. Or we could go exploring. You lead the way, Ron. It looks like this challenge is locked at the moment. <sighs> Guess that challenge is locked. Do you want to replay the Carpe Retractum challenge, Ron? Look, I think we've come out in the side chamber. I've heard about this room. These portraits provide shortcuts to every floor in the castle. I wonder how we can get the password. Harry Potter. Just the person I was looking for. Hello, Fred. Where's George? Upstairs, minding the shop. Early Christmas present for you, Harry. It's the Marauder's Map. It'll help you find your way around Hogwarts. Wow. Thanks, Fred. You can press the tab key on your keyboard to bring up this map at any time. Come on. Follow me upstairs. I'll lead you to the shop. Retractum challenge. I'm going to find all ten shields this time. Professor McGonagall, Professor Dumbledore. I am glad to see you're feeling better, Harry. Thanks, Professor. You are probably aware the Dementors of Azkaban are here at Hogwarts on Ministry of Magic business. I'll bet Sirius Black steers well clear of Hogwarts with those Dementors lurking about. Come on, lads. George is waiting in the shop. Follow me. I had it! Over here. A tuna major. Um, I'll see you two later. Just remembered, I've got to see Professor McGonagall about something. Wonder what that's all about. Hello, Harry. Welcome to our shop. Wow, look at all this stuff. Just walk up to any item that takes your fancy. We'll tell you what's what and how much it costs. Hmm, afraid you don't have enough pumpkin pasties to buy that. Now there's a very spe- You can't complete your collection without this card, Harry. Sounds good. I'll buy it. 
You know, if you're looking for collector's cards, you can find them in secret areas. Hmm. Afraid you don't have enough pumpkin pasties to buy that. Looks like you don't have enough Bertie Box beans to buy that, Harry. Oh, now there's a very absolutely the best chocolate for restoring stamina. Great, it's a deal. Tough luck what happened on the train. Looks like you don't have enough Bertie Box beans to buy that, Harry. Looks like you don't have enough Bertie Box beans to buy that, Harry. Come again anytime, Harry. <gasps> oh no. Peeves! Bo ho ho. Poor Potty and Weasel. They've got no passwords, so they can't use the portrait shorty cuts. Oh, look at this! I've got the passwords right here! Come on, Ron. We can get that paper. Right. Let's cast together and teach that pest of a poltergeist a lesson. Rick the Zebra! Catch this! Rick the Zebra! Rick the Zebra! Is that the best? Rick the Zebra! Rick the Zebra! Rick the Zebra! Is that the best? Rick the Zebra! 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 Is that the best you can do? Rick the Zebra! We've got to cast together, Harry! Rick the Zebra! Rick the Zebra. That's not nice! Rick the Zebra! That's not nice! Rick the Zebra! Potty and Weasel, you haven't seen the last of me! We got the passwords! Come on, let's give it a go! They only work on the portraits with the floor numbers at the top, right? I think so. This should get us back to the side chamber. Star Shark. It's almost time for Care of Magical Creatures class. And Hagrid's teaching this year. Um, do either of you know where we're supposed to go? I think the class is down at the paddock. Off to Care of Magical Creatures, are you? So am I. That's great, Neville. We'll go together. Come on, follow me. Magical Creatures class is just through that gate. Ah! Whoa! Um, and that must be a pixie infestation. Um, when you three have finished dealing with the pixies, Care of Magical Creatures class is this way. It's up to you, Harry. We can explore for a bit, or follow Neville to class. doesn't expect us to touch it. Disgusting creature. 
welcome to Care of Magical Creatures class. I'll be teaching you this term. I'd like to introduce you to Buckbeak. He's a hippogriff. Today, you'll be learning how to ride him. You first, Harry. Just walk up to Beaky and give him a bow. You won't catch me bowing to that filthy beast. Hello, Buckbeak. There's a good hippogriff. Your goal is to fly through enough bats to beat the top number on the counter. As soon as you're ready, just click the right mouse button to make Beaky fly. Collector's card. That was really well done, Harry. Come back to the paddock any time you want another go. There's five courses to fly in all, and you can win a collector's card on each of them. I bet you're not dangerous at all, are you, you great ugly brute? <laughs> I'm dying! Look at me! It's killed me! You're not dying. Do you think he'll be all right? Of course. Madam Pomfrey can mend cuts in about a second. You can bet Malfoy will make something out of this. Harry was very concerned about Hagrid, and with Malfoy playing up his injury, he was worried about Buckbeak too. Where'd Hermione go anyway? It's nearly time for transfiguration class. Um, you two ready for class? Are you all right? What's happened? I'm just a bit tired, that's all. We'd better get up to the first floor, or we'll be late for transfiguration. We could take the first floor portrait shortcut. Or go round by the stairs. You lead the way, Harry. Right, first floor transfiguration class. Cheese charm. Haddon. Oh! <laughs> 
this one's locked for now. Configuration class. Harry, come over here. Looks like it's locked. Hey Potter, interested in buying a collector's card? No thanks. Maybe later. Well, maybe later then? from Fred and George's shop to see what's behind this portrait. Interested in buying a collector's card? Not right now, thanks. Right, see you around then. The Tuna Major. Hmm. I think we'll need to buy a password from Fred and George's shop to the see Tuna what's behind Major. this portrait. Hi, Fred. Hi, George. Fortuna Major. Hmm. I think we'll need to buy a password from Fred and George's shop to see what's behind this portrait. Star shot. Like this challenge is locked at the moment. <sighs> Guess that challenge isn't open yet. Cheese jar. Oh, rubbish. It's locked. Oh. 
can't chat right now. I'm off to transfiguration class. Hmm. I think we'll need to buy a password from Fred and George's shop to see what's behind this portrait. It's Weasel, Grunge and Potty. Peeves. I don't like the look of that armour. He's locked us in! I bet we can beat him if we all cast at once. Ron, get ready to use your Carpe Retractum spell when we've worn him down. Oh, goody. Three Ickle Playmates. <laughs> scared half to death. We'd better get on to transfiguration class. Peeves has probably made us late. Hello and welcome to transfiguration class. One of the most advanced transfiguration spells enables a wizard to become an animagus. Animagi can transform themselves into animals and then back into people. For example, Are there any questions? Professor McGonagall, are werewolves animagi? No, they're not. Animagi turn into animals at will. A werewolf cannot control its transformation. Now for today's lesson, the Draconifers and Lepiphors spells. Miss Granger, perhaps you'd grace the class by having a go at the exercise I've prepared. Me? Oh, yes! If you'll just step through this door, then... Let's begin with the Lapifor spell, Miss Granger. Right. Lapifors. The transformation of a small object into a rabbit. Correct, Miss Granger. Five house points for Gryffindor. Cast Lapifors on the rabbit statue. You will then be able to control the transfigured rabbit. Lapifors! Use the arrow keys to move the rabbit in the desired direction. The right mouse button will make the rabbit hop. Push the forward arrow key and hold down the right mouse button for the longest jumps. Press the enter key any time you wish to stop the spell or simply complete the task at hand with the rabbit, and the spell will stop on its own. You will find rabbit holes throughout the challenge, Miss Granger. If a hole is blocked by grass, click the left mouse button to make the rabbit chew through the vegetation. Got it! Press the left mouse button to chew through the grass. Well done. Now, take note of the mound of earth. Position the rabbit on top of the dirt and press the left mouse button to begin digging. Right. Use the left mouse button to chew or dig. Splendid, Miss Granger. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's move on to the Draconophore spell. Cast on the dragon statue, Miss Granger, to transform it into a living creature. Draconophores! Oh, brilliant! Now, listen closely. To proceed, you will need to use the dragon to get the fireball pick up. Then fly up and land on a platform. Finally, you must light the torch to complete this part of the challenge. Off you go, Miss Granger. Click the spacebar to make the dragon fly. Use the arrow keys to make it turn. Click the left mouse button to make the dragon breathe fire. Once he's grabbed a fireball pick, the dragon will produce one blast of flames for each pickup.
Granger is a Bundyman. A Bundyman will expel a foul trail of slime that you will need to avoid. Ugh! It's repulsive! You can cast Richter Sempra to stun a Bundyman. Then, if you're quick enough, you can jump on top of it to see if it will produce a reward. Richter Sempra!
done, Miss Granger. You've completed the challenge. But you'll need to collect all ten challenge shields to earn a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. You may take the challenge again, any time you please. Thank you, Professor McGonagall. You can be certain I'll get all of the shields next time. Hermione! There you are! How was it? Excellent. I can turn things into dragons now. Wicked! You mean the flying, roaring, burn down the village sort of dragon? Um, no. It's just a very small, transfigured dragon. Oh, shame. You can have another go at the challenge if you like, Hermione. We can come back and do it another time. It looks like this challenge is locked at the moment. Even though the following morning was stormy and fun, Harry was excited to be playing in the first Quidditch match of the season. He came away from the fall without injury, but he resolved to confront his fear of the Dementors. Professor Lupin offered to help him with anti-Dementor lessons. He asked Lupin about Sirius Black, the man who had been his father's best friend and had betrayed both James and Lily to Voldemort. The professor seemed reluctant to discuss the matter. We better get on with your anti-Dementor lessons, Harry. Now, we obviously can't bring a real Dementor into the castle, so we'll make do with the Boggart. The Boggart will appear as the thing you fear the most, which in your case, Harry, is fear in the form of a Dementor. First, we'll practice on a target. Aim your wand at the target. Then, hold down the left mouse button to build the spell's power. You'll see a ring of light move up your arm. For a perfect cast, you must release the spell just as the ring passes over your wand. Give it a try. The incantation for the spell is Expecto Patronum. Right. Expecto Patronum. The ring of light must be around your wand when you release the spell. Expecto Patronum. The ring of light must be a ring of light. The ring of light must be around your wand when you release the spell. Expecto the ring of light must be around your wand when you release the spell. Expect a wonder. Excellent cast, Harry. Two more like that and you're ready to move on. Expect a wonder. That's it, Harry. Just one more time. Expect a wonder. Fantastic. Three perfect casts, Harry. You're ready for the next stage of the lesson. Expect a wonder. the surrounding chambers and be ready to use the Patronus charm on a boggart.
Doctor! No, concentrate. The Boggart has taken the shape of a Dementor to play on your fears. Expect an explosion! Expect an explosion! When there is more than one Dementor, or in this case, Boggart, the creature's presence will likely keep it from moving. Cast a perfect Patronus at a bogger to disable it. Make perfect casts at each bogger in the area before the spell has time to wear off to defeat the creatures. Expect them exploded! 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 Well done, Harry. It would seem you've mastered the spell. Brilliant! Oh, and there's a collector's card too! It was necessary to see how you do if the Dementors took you by surprise. You did brilliantly. Thank you, Professor Lupin. After the anti-Dementor lesson, Harry asked Professor Lupin if it was true that Sirius Black and Harry's father had been friends. Professor Lupin seemed disturbed by the question. He would only say that he had known Sirius once, or thought he did. Ah! Scabbers is gone! And you know what I found on the floor? Cat hair! Orange cat hair! You're not suggesting Crookshanks! I just heard! They're going to execute Bogbeak because he attacked Malfoy! No! They can't! This is all Malfoy's doing! He's the one who ought to be punished! There must be something we can do. An appeal. An appeal, that's it. I'm sure I've read about a case of hippogriff baiting. We can look in the library. I'll come along, but I've had it with that monstrous cat of yours, Hermione. I wonder where Madame Pince is. Maybe Crookshank's got her too. I know she'd let us look at those books on hippogriff baiting. It's an emergency. It kept in that legal section over there, but it's locked up. There must be some other way to get up there. All right, but let's just try and do this without getting into trouble. Trouble? Who says we'll get into trouble? Find a way to get us up to that legal section, Ron. Right. Can't play the tracks. Oh. Can't play the tracks. Oh. Hello, more. A bookcase stairway! Huh. Alamora! 
Ron. You and Harry, go and keep a lookout. We'll shout if Madame Pinch shows up. find anything that could help us with Buckbeak's defense? Yes, and I've already dropped the book off at Hagrid's. Hang on. How'd you do that? We only just left you. Well, um, I took a shortcut. Come on, we don't want to be late for charms class. It's right over there. Eee! Get these horrid things away from me! Run! It's completely bad! Oh no! Maybe we'd better have a look. Um, don't we have charms class now? Yes, but I think we have time to teach that thing a lesson. Whatever it is. It's up to you, Harry. There's some sort of monstrous book on the loose in there. I hope you've come to help. Card each time you defeat all the pages. There are five cards in all. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. Good luck. I I'd stay and help, but uh, I I'm late. Yes, uh, very late indeed. Bring the Sempra! 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 Bring the Sempra!
Prefect said we could win all five cards in the set if we can beat that thing for good. for the monster book of monsters. It's a bit sad, really. Seems like we should have tried to tame it. Hermione! <gasps> well, we'd better get on to charms class. I'm Professor Fritwick. Welcome to Charms. Today, we will learn a very useful freezing charm called Glacius. Let's see, who would like to demonstrate? Harry Potter, just the fellow. If you'd like to step through this door, we can begin the Glacius Challenge. Glacius is useful for freezing a number of things, Harry. Let's begin with an Amazonian salamander, shall we? 
Take care now, Harry. You'll need to eliminate both the creature and its fire. Give it a try. a spell to freeze this flowing water. Excellent. Wow, it's solid ice. Here's the best bit, Harry. Time to go for a slide. Just use the left and right arrow keys to turn. Press the up arrow to go faster and the down arrow to slow down. Off you go. I'll see you at the end of the challenge. Huh? 
I see you didn't find all of the challenge shields. Ah, that's a shame. Well, come back any time you want to give the challenge another try. Find all ten shields and you'll get to go to the bean bonus room. Thanks, Professor Flitwick. I'll be back. So, how was it? You can freeze things now. I can slide everywhere. Oh, wicked! And salamanders the size of Hagrid. The blue or the scarlet variety. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. You can have another go at the Glacier's Challenge if you want, Harry. Or we can come back later. Despite the dangerous visitor lurking around Hogwarts, Harry insisted on going to visit Hagrid. He was anxious to hear the outcome of Buckbeak's trial. Was that? I think it was. Poor Buckbeak! Poor Hagrid. They carried out the execution. Look! It's Scabbers! You see, Ron? Crookshanks was innocent! Pick this up! 
See a way back up. Keep looking. I'll see if I can find a way down to you. Right then. How do I get to the Oh,
Excellent! That's a good dragon! Ron's all right.
where's the dog? It's not a dog. <sighs> There's no need to be afraid. Sirius Black is not what you think he is. And Scabus, he's not a rat. He's a wizard by the name of Peter Pettigrew. What? Watch. I can explain. Pettigrew's an Animagus. It wasn't Sirius Black who betrayed your parents, Harry. It was Pettigrew. Pettigrew had not only betrayed James and Lily Potter to Voldemort, he had also framed Sirius Black as Voldemort's spy. It was agreed that Pettigrew would be taken back to Hogwarts and turned over to Professor Dumbledore. But there was one more secret to be revealed. He just needs some rest. Unfortunately, Sirius Black is not faring so well. He's locked in a high tower. He'll be handed over to the Dementor soon. There's nothing I can do to stop it. But he's innocent! I believe that's true. 
what we need is more time. But, oh, the Time Turner. Time Turner? More than one innocent life could be saved tonight. I meant to tell you, eventually, Professor McGonagall let me borrow this Time Turner. I've been using it all year to go back in time so I could attend extra lessons. That explains a lot. We could use it to go and save Buckbeak. And then fly him up to the tower to rescue Sirius. But we must take care not to be seen by our earlier selves. in there somewhere. It's awfully quiet. You're sure you set the time turn about the right amount? Look! There's Buckbeak! Brilliant! Let's find a way to get to it. There must be a way to make this platform go up. You did it! Perfect. Careful now. Right. Oh no! The door closed! Well... There's got to be a way out. Depolto! Draconopod! I'll see what's in there. Stuck in here. 
I'll go see if it's time to rescue Sirius. Be careful, Harry! Still using the power of the Time Turner, Harry hurried towards the lake. He had to learn who had cast the Patronus spell that had saved him from the Dementors. Had his father come to help him? Had James Potter cast the spell that saved Harry's life? And then Harry understood. He hadn't seen his father. He had seen himself. Expect to explode him!
I can't believe it! You conjured up a Patronus that drove away all those Dementors! That's very, very advanced magic! I knew I could do it this time because I'd already done it. Does that make sense? Harry, we've got to rescue Sirius from the tower and get back to the hospital wing before anybody realizes we're missing. Right, let's go! moment quick go how can i ever think go we'll see each other again you are truly your father's son now. You're possibly going to pass your exams, Ron. You've hardly studied a thing. Me? What about you? You spent all that time researching Buckbeak's defense. Please, Ron, give me some credit. I used the time turner to study, of course. I'm aiming for perfect marks. She's always got an answer, doesn't she? Bad news, Ron. Your car pair and tractor exam is first. We'd better head up to Professor Lupin's classroom. Shall we take the portrait shortcut to the third floor, or the stairway? Blimey, Hermione. Why do you look so cheerful? Oh, I know. Because it's final exam day. Well, here we are. Ready to take that final exam, Ron. Um, do I look a bit feverish to you? Good try, Ron. Harry and I will meet up with you outside in the courtyard after our exams. I must warn you, Rob, this exam is fairly difficult. And also a bit dangerous. Um, dangerous? To earn a perfect score, you must collect all five challenge sheets. Go to it, Rob. Good luck. 
Exam, you may begin.
Challenge. challenge.
You scored 100%, Miss Granger. Exactly what I expected of you. Thank you, Professor McGonagall. I do wish the term wasn't over so soon. There's so much more I'd like to learn. Peace yourself, Miss Granger. If not for yourself, for the rest of us. Are you ready for the Glacius final exam, Harry? Ready, Professor Flitwick. Splendid! You know the rules, then. Pick up all five challenge shields to earn a perfect score. Got it! Five challenge shields! Oh, and Harry, this exam's a bit more difficult than our usual Glacius exercises. Good luck to you. Glacius! Victor Zebra! Victor Zebra! Victor Zebra! 
Harry. A perfect score. Wow! I can hardly believe it myself. It was a pleasure having you in charms class this term, Harry. You have a great deal of natural ability, my boy. A great deal indeed. Ah, glad to see you three survived your final exams. Oh, they were great fun. Speak for yourself. I'll be having nightmares for months. Well then, let's see whether you've completed all of your third year requirements. Well done, all of you. You've completed your third year requirements. Splendid work. Absolutely splendid. You should all be very proud of yourselves. What you did for Sirius Black and Buckbeak was truly courageous. Now, do try and behave yourselves during the summer holidays. As the Hogwarts Express carried him and his friends back to King's Cross Station, Harry recalled something Professor Dumbledore had said. You think the dead we loved ever truly leave us? You think that we don't recall them more clearly than ever in times of great trouble? Your father is alive in you, Harry, and shows himself most plainly when you have need of him. <laughs>